What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, T Trucker, coming back with another video. Today, I am at home doing my home time. Chilling with my son in the back, as y'all can see. Today, I am just doing some ripping and running, trying to Yeah, we back. Um, like I was saying, I am in my hometown, chilling with my family. And uh, I got some things that I need to tell y'all. Yeah, I know y'all probably gonna be judging me left and right, but I'm willing to take that uh, abuse from y'all because I know better. But it is what it is. But the thing is, I am not with that company anymore. No hard feelings to that company. And I know, hold on, right before y'all say anything, I know y'all probably gonna be like, man, when you ever gonna sit down and, and stay with a company? What works for you might not work for me. You know what I'm saying? What works for your family might not work for my family. I have to do I have to do what's best for my family. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, today I wanna let y'all know my boy has got a truck. You know what I'm saying? I got me a truck. Nah, I didn't go buy it. What? You know, uh, out of my pocket, you know what I'm saying? But I'm leased on with a company. And uh, I'm just gonna focus on uh, stacking my money up and uh, buying me a second truck. I'm gonna pay for. I'm gonna pay this truck off. Now, I believe this truck that I'm buying is. I'm just gonna be honest with you. They got me. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, it is a walkaway lease. It, do, it don't have a balloon payment at the end. You know what I'm saying? So if I, you know, I can stack my bread up and then go buy my own truck. But the plan is to go buy me another truck and put a driver in the truck that I'm in now. So by him driving my truck, that money is gonna pay for that truck. You know what I'm saying? He could drive for the company for four years, pay it off. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go buy me a truck, cash, so I can go ahead and do my thing, like some local or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't gotta be on the road. But for the first thing, you gotta go out and you gotta make that sacrifice. And the sacrifice is being away from your family, uh, driving for long distance, you know, you know, trying to kind of get out your element that you normally used to. You know what I'm saying? That's the hard part. You know what I'm saying? So, for anybody that want to come into being an owner operator or at least purchase operator, you know what I'm saying? This is the stuff you're going to go through. I'm going to give y'all, uh, I'm going to give y'all all the, uh, I'll see what she got on. I'll see that, right? Man, oh man, women don't care what they wear. But anyway, like I said, uh, y'all watching this channel, man, I'm gonna give y'all, um, cause I'm, I'm learning, you know what I'm saying? I have learned a lot these past couple days. I didn't blog any, or did I? I don't know, cause I know I had just got back from Arkansas. I caught a plane to Arkansas. And I was in orientation for two days. I was in orientation for two days and they gave me a truck. Now, I'm gonna let y'all know. I know y'all gonna be like, man, you crazy. But the truck is already in the shop. Nothing serious. It's just some check engine lights came on. Two check engine lights. I don't know what that was about. But I never, well, actually, when I got the truck, I got maybe an hour down the road, two check-ins, like, popped on. You know what I'm saying? 
but they say there's something dealing with, you know, the speed or whatever. I don't know. But for the most part, I drove from Little Rock all the way to Georgia. No problem with the check engine light on. But like I said, for me personally, to be driving around and the price that they charge me, charging me for. I ain't gonna tell you exactly how much they uh, charging me for this truck. Y'all watch the next video. Once I get into my truck, I'm gonna show y'all everything and then I'm gonna let the review, review, review the um, contract so y'all can see for yourself. You know what I'm saying? That this is a I'm not even gonna mention it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like I told y'all, this is a walk away. You know what I'm saying? You can't come over here, stack your money up, and you can leave. Buy your own truck and leave. But my plan is to come over here, not personally, myself, pay for the truck, but another driver get in, you know what I'm saying? He gonna make some money, and that's gonna help me pay the truck. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have my own truck. Once that truck paid off, then I'ma have two trucks. So, like I said, man, uh, I know I ain't got on here in a while and posted the video. I've been just, you know, focus, focusing on my goals right now. And uh, the main thing right now to me is taking care of my family, especially in this time right now. With the world going crazy, you know what I'm saying? And your boy got to get out here and grind, you know what I'm saying? So if anybody want to come to this company, I will uh, put the name of the company in the description down below. And y'all can go and check out the company yourself and see if that's the best fit for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? They pay you 73% of the load. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they got the money. I don't know, man, you know. It ain't for everybody, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I know my purpose. When you come into a lease purchase with any company, you gotta have a plan in mind, a goal. You can't just come in this, in this lease thing as a game because you come into this thing and you gonna be uh, messed up, man. You, you don't know how to manage fuel. You wanna go home. You wanna go home and stay home for five days. It, it ain't gonna work for you. I'm just gonna tell you like that. I know what my goal is, is to take care of my son, my my kids, my wife. That's my goal. So, uh, like I said, uh, y'all stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I will be posting that shortly. And if, I, and if I don't post that video shortly, I'm going to post it on Monday when I get, because I got to go back up. The uh, freight line of this shit. Oh, yeah, I do. The truck is a 2018 18 or 19 freight line of Cascadia. The truck is clean. I might even put the, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put the truck in the description right here. Because I'm telling you right now, the truck is nice. I ain't gonna, truck is clean on the inside and clean on the outside. The truck is by far one of the cleanest truck I don't have. You know what I'm saying? But if that engine ain't running right and that transmission ain't running right and that contract ain't right, it just ain't right. But for now, your boy gotta stack that money up and I got a goal, I got a plan. So, um, anyways, like I said, y'all stay tuned for the next video. I appreciate all my new subscribers for checking in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my video. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, this is a different, different me. This is a different vlog. I am not a company driver anymore. I am never going back to being a company driver. I am now an owner operator. Lease, purchase. I'm gonna call myself owner operator because that's how I feel. You know, even though I'm leasing the truck, I feel like an owner operator. I feel like a boss. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, want to get more game and more knowledge about being an owner operator or even just leasing the truck. 
or even just all about you know how to save money, you know, being a businessman. Follow this channel right here, man, and I promise you, you won't go wrong. But anyway, we gonna get back to my family time, and uh, y'all stay tuned for the next vlog, man. We out, peace.